This is a record, record of the uh, concert of the week in Dubai. We are the ninth in Top to join the monkey. And seven here, and we were joined by Dragon as an external uh, guest. So we had uh, uh, lots of discussion and uh, like on the future plans of uh, Consensus Lab in 2022, and also productizing Consensus where Dragon's presence was really relevant. We opened uh, with uh, giving an overview of Consensus Lab planning that is put in July 2021 when the group was found. And we are basically following the same plan, and we are of course refining it on, uh, as we go. Uh, then we had Juan join. The initial idea was that Juan joins in person, but then he joined uh, over Zoom, giving an overview of uh, basically how Consensus Lab projects stand in the big picture of Alpha and plans. So we focused on Unico hierarchical consensus, FVM, and computer over data, for each of which you will hear something in the rest of this summary. So that was particularly useful given that Dennis joined recently as recent engineer in January. Matei joined actually during the team week in Dubai. And Sergey is joining in April. And Sergey and Dennis were also present remote. And yeah, so now you'll hear about uh, the summary of each of the sessions and each of the sub projects that we have. Right. So for the theoretical consensus project, uh, one of the things that we were planning for the final MVP to wrap up the MVP is the, the fix, not fixing, but coming up with a solution for the um, design of atomic executions and uh, and the problem of, of atomic execution between different subnets. So we in this first session we introduced the problem because then we have then we had a very good um, session to uh, see potential solutions. We did a retrospective of the project on the roadmap after B1. B1 is the proof of concept that we will wrap up by, by the end of Q1. That will include the execution, it will include like cross-site messages and all of the basic framework for, for carrying that message. And it would be really good, and this is something that we are targeting, but, but that we cannot come into, try to lure the Bacalao project to be one of our use cases in private consensus so that we can have the POC with this use case as the first use case in the, in the framework. Um, after this, we plan the kickoff of B3. B3 is mainly like once we have a basic framework for critical consensus, the idea is to translate it into FBM so that we can move towards production. And in B3, what we're going to do is take what we have in the MVP and translate into FBM so that we can go to potentially a testnet and start working into making it to production. And hopefully the plan is, if you go to the next slide, the plan is to, um, the immediate action items is first wrap up the V1, uh, the MVP with the design of, of uh, the atomic execution protocol that we have trapped, that we will include in the spec and we will have the first implementation. Uh, we are targeting to publish a working progress paper of critical consensus of a critical consensus framework in the DINPS um, workshop. And we will have soon a low level planning. So right now we have a plan of like having V3, so integration with the end before end of Q2, but we will share publicly a low level planning soon once we have like all of the all of the pieces in place. And regarding the atomic transactions or the atomic execution, we finally settled on that initial theoretical specification of how this can work and the properties that we want for this uh, protocol. We discussed several implementations of how this could be integrated into the hierarchical framework. I think we have a, a quite solid first approach, maybe it needs refinement, but we have a quite solid approach that we can implement. Um, and yeah, basically that's it. Hopefully in, in future uh, demo days and future talks, we will share the specifics of the protocol. Thank you. So I, earlier this week, I presented um, our project V2 about checkpointing to Bitcoin, which now has the super nickname Pikachu. Uh, basically, I give an overview of the POC that we designed to the newcomers that uh, didn't know about it. Then uh, we discussed uh, some of the uh, scaling ideas that we had, and especially we came to the conclusion that scaling this 
project was more of a long term research that there was no um, like obvious way to do it, let's say. And so we may try to outsource this to a team of researcher in the future. Uh, what we are going to do right now is write up the project by uh, finishing the implementation and the benchmarking. And um, then the plan will be to uh, submit the paper once we have all this. And uh, next, we also want to start an open discussion on this topic because we found that there are a lot of teams that are working on very similar projects. For example, some folks from Cardano that uh, Dragon knows, as well as some folks from um, Stanford. So we would like to be more open and start engaging with them. And then maybe uh, together we can see if we can like get a, a long term nice solution, scaling solution for this project. All right, so um, now something about consensus in the submits. Uh, so uh, Dennis implemented uh, first uh, integration of the Tendermint consensus protocol that could be used in the submit of the hierarchical consensus. And uh, he recorded also a presentation and a demo of what he's done. And what there's still to do is uh, benchmarking this uh, Tendermint implementation and seeing what is the overhead imposed by Udico when uh, the tendermint is part of Udico. And then uh, uh, we'll need to create a PR for, for the code and uh, have get some reviews on it and, uh, and integrate it with the tendermint, uh, sorry, with, uh, with Udico. Uh, we need to perform some basic testing. And we also want to see how, how it, uh, how it um, reacts to faults in the system when when some uh, nodes actually crash, we would like to have it running, crashing some nodes and seeing how, how the protocol behaves and what the performance implications are. All right. And then uh, we, in general, we want to have a efficient subnet consensus and then in an abstracted away manner that should be pluggable. And uh, so the, the master goal is to uh, use Mir BFT slash ISS, which is a very uh, which is a very recent state of the art protocol, which appeared in um, in the Eurosys conference this year, coupled with the Narwhal or Narwhal style um, mempool implementation, which is which is also uh, presented at the same conference, and we want to have all this developed, tested, and integrated with Udico to be ready for uh, for a testnet and uh, test the implementation end of this year. So for the action items, we need to, we want to overlap, we need to find the overlaps of this project with what Dennis was doing uh, in Tendermint and try to integrate what can be integrated to, the, to avoid duplicate work. We want to implement also the narrow mantle and uh, we want to have uh, production ready in, uh, integration with your code of all that. Hello, so short update on G1, early execution of Wasm FDM smart contracts. Uh, so we reached the first milestone, which was basically reviewing the state of the art and for the smart contract execution. So we discussed several approaches that have been proposed so far, like using STM uh, like uh, runtime or using static analysis. And uh, so after that, that first milestone, um, uh, the, the continuous lab team is, is going to work on the architectural design for Paulus smart contract execution. The idea is to uh, first take inspiration from the STM runtime, so meaning detecting conflicting transactions at runtime and um, executing parallel those that uh, commit, those that have no conflicts, and then serializing uh, those that are conflicted. The first step will be to assess the performance gain that can be expected from parallel accesses to the IP state store. And uh, for that, uh, what we're going to do is write the first description of the experiments we need to execute to perform and contact the person in charge of this uh, component, the IP state store, uh, to see with him how, uh, what's the best way to start this. All right, fantastic. So on the on the topic of crypto economics, we, we had this very fruitful call with the with the crypto econ web team. 
And basically, we've been already working async in terms of, of defining both the questions and, and the way to go about getting answers. But, but we use this opportunity to basically prioritize the questions that, that we actually need answered. Uh, in particular, even we want to, to go public uh, and, and create a tip and a test net uh, in way Q3 or way Q4. And we, we want to have answers to the questions that we know are going to, to be asked by the stakeholders. So we, we had this call with Crypto Econ Lab. Uh, we decided that, uh, well, first, I, I think we settled uh, on, on, a, on an interpretation of the questions and, and the assumptions. So we're all on the same page now. And we decided to, with respect to, to the path forward to one set up a recurring call and, and to, to actually do an early sprint, a two week sprint with both teams uh, sometimes, uh, sometime in the, in the near future, I would say number two where we will try to, to get to, to make significant progress and actually have this, this early answers to, to the, at least the, the P0 questions. Thank you. All right. The other topic we discussed was of course, working in the open and also the transition to, to the PLV8 world. And of course, I mean, we, we already have a lot of our planning in the open and a lot of our open issues, but what we decided is that we are actually going to move all of the stuff that we currently have in private repos to our public uh, protocol slash consensus web repo. We will be using it both for its issues uh, and discussions, and we want to be really liberal around this. So, you know, uh, even if you have a small, uh, a new form of idea, you can post it. We'll have a specific tech for that, our thoughts. And then once a month, we will have a, a triage call in which we will go over this and see what actually needs to more work in terms of, of curation. We do have a pretty busy plan for this year already. So, you know, the, the fact that we're, that we're uh, creating an inventory and a backlog of open problems does not mean that we will be tackling them in the short term, but, you know, it will be important for us all with our longer term planning. The, other thing that, that we are doing, of course, no, actually, still on the bit of aspects. Uh, one thing that we discussed also with Dragon was basically the, the field protocol devs approach to, to uh, actually proposing changes. And so we, we also have uh, a, a fairly good idea of how we're going to go about actually communicating and uh, socializing uh, more mature ideas with the community uh, using the, the proper channels. Uh, in the Falcoin uh, GitHub repo and with the Falcoin Foundation. And, and so uh, basically, uh, you know, issues, uh, not issues, discussions in the community followed by, by presentations to core dev. Uh, of course, we'll, we'll coordinate uh, with, with the other stakeholders uh, when doing this. And then, yes, the other thing that we are doing is moving off the, the, the DL spec we will be setting up home in the PowerPoint Slack. The, the channel will be consensus and will be repurposed from an existing uh, channel from consensus days. And that will be the, the primary home for, for all communication with, within and with consensus lab. Uh, just to go back quickly, so I've also mentioned already that one of our goals is to go support the notification of data code or Bacalhau project. project. Perfect. <laughs> Right. So, uh, this is an interesting project that wants to do arbitrary computation over data stored in IPFS and Filecoin. Uh, it might need a separate token, it might need a marketplace for, like, uh, you know, if you want to do map review style computations, like who does it, for, for what price, how long does it take. And basically, when you do such a computation, you may want to spawn some ephemeral communication among nodes. So this all builds as a nice use case for Utico, where you could do this marketplace for arbitrary computation with L2, ephemeral, I'm just throwing this out as a sketch, not as a design. So ephemeral subnets on L3 and so on. And for these reasons, actually, it seems that computer data is a nice uh, customer of Utico, and basically one really, really file for native use use case for, for character consensus. We started discussing this with Bakayao team last week. They reached out on Friday. This was a very uh, fruitful discussion. And basically, we're going to support uh, and basically try to convince Bakayao team to uh, use Unico as their home for, for this project. 
So this would be really, really nice use case. So it has some action items that are likely to follow. Not too much, uh, I would say this is not going to engage us too much, but we are going to support the uh, Baccarat team as much as needed. So, and to summarize, next slide. So summarize all of this. We had a really important session with Dragon on productizing all what you hear so far, heard so far. By the way, you don't have the timelines here. Uh, on the next slide, I will just stop briefly. You will see our GitHub uh, link. You will be able to see our roadmap, but all what we discussed here is more or less related to the next two quarters, so Q2 and Q3. And here we are mostly in Q4. So this is mostly about spawning a testnet in Q4, where we would be testing in practice in public and in practice hierarchical consensus, even consensus in subnets. And whatever we have ready by that point, we will roll out on the testnet in Q4. Whatever comes later, we will roll out on the testnet as it comes. But basically, this is transitioning to, in our planning, to the P4 project that's, that's related to this testnet. And Dragon gave us really detailed overview of how FIPS work, uh, his experience with Snapdeal subgrade. We try to schedule things that are hard for or, or network upgrade. We'll try to combine them in as few uh, network upgrades as possible. It seems that this is one and not more. Let's see. Uh, and then we will be pushing things mostly in user space, so basically, if you want as a software. So basically, if you support uh, new consensus protocols, this wouldn't require an upgrade from basically Falcon miners and, and, and CPs, right? But you could, of course, if you want to support new protocols and so on. So we discussed this. This is supposed to be rolling out in Q4, this meaning the testnet with preparations, a lot of preparations for us in Q3, and of course, with inputs from other sources. So just next slide briefly. Okay, so go to GitHub. And we'll try to, as, as George explained, we'll try to keep everything in public. You already have the timelines for the projects discussed here on public GitHub. Use consensus at Filecoin uh, Slack to contact us. You can email address and so on. Thank you for your attention. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>